Now, Indio is set to break ground on a multi-million dollar project that aims to stop flooding in flood-prone areas. Jennifer Franco has reaction from some businesses near the project site. This is going to be a huge win for the city of Indio. Brooke Berry with the city of Indio couldn't be more excited about a newly announced project meant to prevent flooding and flood damage in Indio. More than $4 million will go toward new infrastructure to connect existing storm drain projects and build a storm drain within downtown. So that the businesses don't get flooded and so that people can still drive safely. Indio also sees it as a win for its sustainability efforts. When it does flood, there are things there to filter the water and as it replenishes our groundwater and our water table, it's also able to filter out those elements that can accumulate and contaminate our water supply. And it'll add to the area's aesthetics with nearly 200 new drought tolerant trees and plants downtown. I'm on Miles Avenue on Oasis Street in downtown Indio, where right now conditions are dry, but some local business owners tell me that this area is prone to flooding, something El Tapatio restaurant less than a mile away can relate to. Even if a little, a little sprinkle, it affects us. Her father first opened the restaurant back in 1987 and she's been working there since 2012. So she's seen how bad the flooding can get in the area and stop customers from coming in. Regular, you know, family cars will be stuck and kind of floating around. And even though she believes the final product will benefit businesses like her families, she has concerns about how the project itself may hurt business. While the process is going on, I don't know how, you know, it's going to go down, up, like what's going to happen. Meanwhile, the design phase of the flood prevention project is set to start sometime next year, and the city hopes to have the project completed within the next three years. Jennifer Franco, News Channel 3.